Hello and boys and girls, this is Brylander with Portal Power TV. We are getting down to the wire now. We are down to the 23rd. We are only two days away and then Chris, the next day is Christmas. And so here is our Lego Star Wars Advent Calendar. So far we've been opening up all these doors, all these flaps, and inside there's been like a mini fig or some kind of mini kit uh, that we've gotten to reveal and build for you guys. And this Lego Advent Calendar has just been a great way to kind of count down the days to Christmas, take off the anticipation and everything else. But with us being on December 23rd, today is our 23rd flap, and we are pulling this off, and boy, this one looks like it's going to be complicated. Uh, this is what we're dealing with today. Looks like some type of sled. Can't really make that out. We'll find out here in a second, but it looks like a bunch of small little pieces. That will probably take me a few minutes to put this sucker together. Yep, it's a big kit too. There's a big bag. All right, bag with a whole lot of parts in it. So depending on how long this takes me to build, I may actually just have to speed up the video just so you guys don't have to sit through the whole thing. Uh, but then again, you know, if you don't mind, you can only skip ahead, I guess, too, to the end. But stay in here with me. Hopefully I'll try to chit chat with you a little bit while I build this thing. But yep, there's a lot of parts. There goes that. I'll be picking that trash up later. Oh boy, what is that? It eh, looks like a bag. You know, this almost looks like it's a Star Wars based Santa Claus sleigh. That's what it is. I'm telling you right now. Okay, so I'm going to start with this base and I'm going to try to crank this sucker out as fast as I can. And I'm just going to build it right in front of you guys. So, as I look at the parts, so with this only being a couple days away from Christmas, I'm assuming everybody's got their Christmas. Um, what do you call it? Uh, your shopping done by now. Um, if you don't, man, you could be in trouble, man. There's no telling that there's going to be any... All the stuff, the stores will be empty. You don't want to get put yourself in that kind of predicament, do you? What um, What's the number one thing that you're hoping to, uh, to get for Christmas? Or better yet, what's the, the, the best gift that you ever got for Christmas. That was something I haven't asked you guys yet. So what is the best gift you've ever gotten for Christmas? Um, that's an excellent question. So you can tell me in the comments below. Um, hmm. I get a suspicion. Yeah, that guy's going on the outside there. And this goes on the outside there. And then it looks like we got a cap. Same thing on the other side. And um, so what are some of your plans for Christmas? Are you going to be um, staying at your house or are you having pe your family people come over? Do you all just have a small intimate Christmas with just your immediate family or do you all go somewhere and spend it with the grandparents and aunts and uncles and all that kind of stuff? Um, what do some of you guys have planned for Christmas? Um, I know that me and my daughter are probably just going to be hanging out here at the house. Uh, my dad lives pretty far away. It's kind of tough to be able to escape. It takes, you know, about seven or eight hours, about eight hours um, if we were to drive there. And um, I have to end up working and stuff like that. So it kind of becomes difficult to just pop out for a day, you know, and come back kind of thing. So um, we're not going to get to see them this year. Uh, my mom lives local, so... Um, we'll get to spend a little bit of time with her, but she also, um, she works, um, odd hours, and so she won't be able to stay out much, you know, very late and stuff like that, so, um, not too sure what that will end up looking like. Anyway, um, let's see what else we got here. I'm gonna put that piece down for a second, because I got this. This looks like it goes here, and this piece looks like it might go here, and then this looks like it goes on the front of this, yeah, I'm not really sure what all this is supposed to be, and then this piece goes on the front of this, there we go. And I'm really not sure what this thing is. Looks like there's quite a few extra parts. I'm not sure. This looks like it just hangs out in here. And these 
these extra pieces just hanging out in here. Okay. A few extra pieces. So, um, guys, I'm going to be brutally honest. I have no idea what this is, other than saying it's a Lego Star Wars version of Santa's sleigh. Maybe, because there's a bag in the back there for toys, maybe. So, let me know what this is. I know there's a real, you know, uh, what this is really something in one of the Star Wars movies, but I don't know what it is, so I need help from you guys. Let me know what that is. But for now, I'm going to put this down here. I'm only going to leave one of those in there, and the rest of these parts I'm going to put in here. And then I'm going to set that right down right there. So that's what we tried to create. That's what we built, and we should be good to go. Other than that, guys, one more day. Today is Friday. Tomorrow's Saturday, which is Christmas Eve. So we'll get to unbox or open this door uh, tomorrow and uh, reveal that. And then the following day is Christmas. That's the last sleep before we wake up to Christmas Day. Uh, so rejoice. Uh, everybody, please don't forget the reason for the season. Um, you know, share it with your loved ones uh, and share, you know, that love with, uh, with everybody you come in contact with. Just remember that that's one of the main reasons that Christmas exists. So uh, from the bottom of my heart, Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. I pray uh, that you, uh, your Christmas is everything that you want it to be. And uh, I'll put that, I'll sign off. This is Brian Landon with Portal Power TV. Take care and God bless.